Boy, that was wicked, wicked this morning. Just about an hour ago, two hours ago for some of you, uh, we had uh, some a lightning storm. Quite a system moved through the area. Thousands of lightning strikes across southern and southwestern Ontario over the last couple of hours, and it's still making its way through the eastern parts of our region right now. And I'll tell you, I posted a, a bit of video of, of the lightning that I shot this morning. I pulled over for a while, and uh, I, I got nothing but a whole bunch of tweets because everybody was up. Everybody. everybody was awake. So it's going to be a long day for a lot of folks. Yeah. Welcome back, Kevin, by the way. Thank you very much. Uh, from a much well-deserved time off. And uh, yeah, I mean, it started early last night as uh, way homers were, way homies, apparently they're called way homies, were driving home from Barrie. Thank and, goodness uh, it hit after that. A number of 40,000, 40, 35,000 yeah. people in an open field during a lightning storm yeah. would not have been a good thing. Yeah. And uh, keeping lots of people up all night long and people have been sending us videos as well uh, Kevin you posted this video on Twitter which we just saw a moment ago our Cynthia Mulligan posting this from her porch as well you can see uh, this is just some of the video that she took and uh, you can see the rain really heavy, coming heavy down rain. heavy rain heavy lightning Terry Hart uh, our Terry Hart also at the airport right now uh, she tweeted us with an update because a lot of people are flying out this morning uh, waiting to board my 6:50 a.m. flight they are boarding the flight and it is still on time they go into that code red whenever there's lightning out everybody comes in on off the tarmac for good reasons. Luckily, it happened just as the main part of the operations was getting underway. So there are some slight delays at the airport right now. They're trying their best to make sure those don't boxcar their way into, into later on. But call ahead before heading out this morning. Call ahead, and I think the GTAA has a website as well. Yes, can they can check. tell you. Yeah. Uh, and viewers also are sending us uh, some videos as well. So oh, uh, look at look at that, like the trees and the lightning and the wind. Uh, so uh, some interesting images coming in from social media. All right, so let's talk about way home. Mm -hmm. About thirty-five thousand people in this field north of Barrie. Uh, the weather was hot, hot, hot all weekend, yeah. and the music was hotter. Yeah, and the weather was hot, and when, you're, when you jam 40,000 people in an open field, uh, and it's already hot out, and you're putting all these people in the space, it's going to be even hotter. But the music, and uh, a lot of the, there were a lot of spray bottles that kept people cool yeah. and hydrated. Um, but some of the big names, uh, Arcade Fire was there, uh, including a very awesome fireworks show that uh, somehow happened. There's some, some videos. Video that I took as well. Oh, um, you were there. I was there. And you were there last night to see the killers. They didn't go. I thought that it, uh, the one thing my son was telling me, he said it was so well organized. He said when the bands were supposed to be on, they came on. There was no delay. It no was a delay. matter of they were on time, they played till their time, then the next band came up. The killers last night must have been phenomenal. Phenomenal closing act. And, and you sometimes forget how many songs you know until it comes on and the energy is just infectious. Uh, Winston, I'm going to have to advise you that uh, to shoot the concert without the express written permission of the, <laughs> the artist, uh, I'm going to have to confiscate your phone. But that's the reality, <laughs> right? I look at, well, so the reality was, you know, there were so many people in a space that cell signal was uh, a, a little hard sometimes to get through. Yeah. But when you do get through, people are Snapchatting, people are posting live, Periscope, Facebook Live, everything. People are all what about... Time? What time did it wrap up? It wrapped up, uh, we got out about 12, 12, and it was just about 12 o'clock when we got out. So <laughs> I, I told get... you you could have stopped off at my place, had a little snooze. Yeah, Kevin was like, come crash at my place and you can drive in uh, with me today. And at I was like, I want to go home, I'm tired. <laughs> I've been up north sleeping in a hot cottage. <laughs> so no, it was fantastic, fantastic show. And what's really interesting too, by the way, they make you wear these bands. Stop wearing these yeah, bands. Yeah, take a look at these. They, they operate in this cashless uh, environment, so you don't carry cash around. Everything yeah. is loaded onto these wristbands, and using an app on your phone, you put money onto your onto your band, and whenever you buy food, whenever you buy drink, you just tap it, and uh, you, you purchase, and you don't have to worry about cash at all. Amazing. Yeah. So Why don't you try that at Tim's today and see if yeah, it still works? Let's see. You can buy everybody one. Yeah, all right. It's all on me. Sounds great. Uh, it, it, yeah. Good time. We'll uh, have a nap a little later yeah. on. Two hours. <laughs> all right. It is uh, coming to 627 on Breakfast Television. Leave you with a little bit more of uh, Winston's video, Out of Way Home.